on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Yeah, what the hell? Why is my blanket so heavy? Huh? What is this? This doesn't feel like. <gasps> it's just who wakes up and sees Tio in his bed on. Yeah. As well as her being very clingy. He knows. If he yells, this will alert Inko. This will alert Tio. And he will have. He will not be shown mercy. Because that's how it be sometimes. I'm sorry. I didn't make these, those damn rules. For some reason, the guy usually gets in trouble. <clears throat> Either way. As he's trying to maneuver himself out of his bed, but it's getting more and more difficult considering one, Tio is stronger than he is. Whenever he moves, she tightens her grip. Two, she is heavier and on top of him, making it even more difficult. And three. Izuku's trying not to get a nose bleed considering what she's wearing. It fits her, but it doesn't fit her. And yes, he's trying to wiggle out of there, but he's, it's not working. He tries for five minutes straight. Nothing's working. It's like, this may not work, but this is my only option. As he begins to try to tickle Tio. In which, it's working. Yeah, yeah, it works perfectly. Until she uh, clamps down. Him having no choice but to yell out a loud ass yell, saying, Release me, woman! And as soon as she wakes up, she's like, Oh, hey, he's a girl. Izuku, wait, what are you doing in my bed? Her getting ready to slap him and go like, Izuku, it's time for school. Tio, what are you doing in Izuku's bed? Huh? Wait, this isn't... Wait, is it? I... Oh. As we have a flashback. Tio had a nightmare. And instinctively walked into Izuku's room, mistaking it for Inko. Because, yeah, she has met Inko when they were kids, and they have gotten close. Just not as close as Izuku and Tio has. So she's been in his room. So she knows that like the back of her hand. And upon realizing... Oh, I had a bad dream. I tried to go into your room, but apparently I went on in and he's doing this by instinct. Oh. Well, all right. Inko was just walking around. Was like, Don't forget, you got school today. Izuku looking like... Are you serious? <laughs> I'm not in trouble. Yes! This is a victory for me. As he remembers, like, wait. Tio's still here. He's like, um, so, uh, I'll walk you to your room. Now there's no need. 
And as Zuko gets ready, Tio's already dressed and re ready for school as well. And they're eating breakfast together. It goes, what kind of bad dream were you having? Um, I think it was to mean people talking about my height and weight. But since I woke up and went back to sleep, it got weird. What? Yeah, I felt something moving around. <laughs> oh, okay. For some reason, I feel like someone was rubbing my boobs. Huh. Yeah, it, it was like this weird rainy snake that, that I just clamped down on and tried to wrestle. Huh, that is a weird dream. Izuku trying his best not to say a word, trying not to panic. It's like, oh dear God, no. Don't, please God, don't let this happen. But the weirdest part is around near the end of it. Really? What happened? It felt like something was tickling me. He <coughs> said, <coughs> <coughs> what's wrong? Uh, <clears throat> nothing. That just seems like a crazy story. Inko, Tio looking at him, but then Inko starts catching on. Yeah, it is a crazy story. Huh, so what'd you do afterwards? Oh, I squeezed tire, hoping to crush it. But this is about the time when Izuku, I guess, woke up or something. Because this is when he yelled out. And said, let go of me. Really? As it goes, she's contemplating, should I tell Tia what happened? And possibly risk my son getting hurt? Or should I just let her just believe this was a dream? And go being best mom once again. Huh, yeah, that's a weird dream. And go looking at Izuku's. I know what you did. But I don't fault you for it. <sighs> Eli, I'm gone. Bye. <sighs> as yes, as soon as Izuku gets to school, Zambina's there. She's waiting for him and everything. Her's kind of like. You won't believe what happened. What? Upon getting to class, everyone is looking at Izuku. People back away from him. And then he turns to see Bakugo, his face bandaged up from yesterday. Is Oh, now I get it. Huh? Wait, what? It's obvious people are like, this guy legit beat up Kotsky. <sighs> you didn't beat me up. You took me by surprise. You took advantage of the situation. I thought you. Bongo just, just flinching. I thought you hurt Sambina and I got angry. Everyone just taking a mental note. Say, okay. Note to self, don't make Izuku angry. The girl's looking at Zambina pretty much. Oh, isn't that adorable? Her pretty much getting embarrassed and punching Izuku. You didn't have to say it like that. Well, that's what happened. Yeah, but you didn't have to say it like that. Izuku being dense is okay. Alright, class. We have a new student. You're serious. 
Wait. <sighs> what is it? It's Tio. What? It's Tio. It, it has to be. Oh, come on. That's, a, that's just an old anime trope. They, there's no way it, it happens in real life as... Tio shows up and she starts introducing herself. Zombina's like, what the fuck? Izuku was like, called it. Yes, I should have bet money. No, you know, she's here now, too. I know she gets to see him at home now. What? Nothing. Shut up. Mind your own damn business. Tio, upon finishing her introduction, looks at Izuku, waves at him, runs over there, almost causing an earthquake, and hugs him in between her <laughs> boobs and guys, nosebleeds, as well as deathly uh, glances at Izuku. Like, you lucky bastard. These women's are like, it, she is so bold to do such a thing. Them looking at Zombina and her just pissed. Yeah, uh, yeah, they they try to cover her like I ain't there's nothing wrong with me. Uh, she she she's just an old friend of Izuku's, that's all. Oh. Then we are very sorry. What? Y you don't stand a chance. What's that supposed to... Wait, what are you even talking about? Oh, it's obvious. Uh, you lose. You are going to lose. L lose what? I I'm not competing for anything. You're going to lose, Izuku. I no, that, uh, the, that's not happening. What, what are you talking about? I am not going to lose. Wait, he's not even mine. Wait, so you're not, you're not into Midoriya? No. I mean, uh, he, he's a good friend and everything, but, but no, I'm not into him like that. Oh, then it's okay with her acting like that towards him. Izuku tries to, like, I'm, I'm tapping out. Please, please let, let me breathe. <laughs> Yeah, everything's fine. She's in complete denial. She is just kidding herself. And yeah, that's pretty much how their school days resume. Tio, she's a bit of an airhead and whatnot, and she's... She doesn't really get so many cues and whatnot. It's the whole fact that, yeah, she's a monster. Yeah, she's an ogre. She is hell strong. So when it comes to any physical activity, she's pretty much stomping out everybody. Considering they're not letting her use her, their quirks, she's not using her quirk. She's using her natural strength. So yeah, let's just say she broke several school records. Easy. So many people want her to be part of sports teams and whatnot. Zombina has also gotten offers, but her only real issue besides, you know, not really caring is, yeah, her stitches aren't always very secure. And they just can't have Izuku or... Medical staff ready to soar back up every time this can't pause the events. <laughs> but now we cut to at least two months since Tio joined Izuku's family. And he's got walking home with Zombie and Tio, and they're pretty much talking. Zombie and I'm wanting to watch another zombie movie. Tio wanted to go out for ice cream or cake. Like, oh, man, I did nothing to deserve this. 
Which as soon as he gets home, he says, "Why? Why do I see more shoes?" Mom, so help me God. Say, like, great news! Your father's home. R really? Izuku, he's happy. He's excited. He's pretty much like. <laughs> I haven't seen him in so long. I missed him so much. And yeah, he walks in on a drunk Hazashi. He's like, okay, so wait, he's done with work or did he just get transferred? No. What? I got fired. Fired, but why? I've been replaced by a monster who could do the job faster, more efficient. They said. He took my job. Huh? I said they took my job. Wait, they took your... They took my jab! Damn it! Damn. Yes, I said it. And I regret nothing. As, yeah, this is... Hazashi's whole take on monsters. He's... At first, he didn't really care. He's like, okay, so... Uh, monsters are real, as long as they don't try to kill anyone. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. blah. But now that he's lost his job, he hates it. He hates the fact that these washers are here, taking o taking over all the industries in which, hell, he's had to replace people in his workplace with washers because of their efficiency. Some of them don't even need sleep. Some of them don't need breaks and whatnot. They can work more. They can work harder. So upon seeing... Tia, he instantly knows this, uh, who, what she is. She's an ogre. She's... What's that doing here? Huh? Oh, this is my friend T Tia. What is she <coughs> doing here? Uh, she lives with us. What? Yeah. Oh. When were you going to tell me this? Well, I didn't expect you to be home. <laughs> oh. Okay, that one. Just point as I'm being... Okay. She... Wait, what happened to you, kid? Oh. I'm a zombie. <coughs> <coughs> what? <laughs> yeah. I'm technically dead. Oh, God, no. Is there, why are these monsters here? They're my friends, and like Mom said, Tio's living with us. I did not approve of this. Yes, yes, you did. What? Yeah, you signed up with the papers. Well, that was before. Oh, for they took you, Jim? Yeah, yes, exactly. Uh... Huh. Okay, now why don't you go sleep and you know get more, you know. Why don't you have any normal friends? Well, they're normal to me. Maybe that's the problem. Why don't that Bakugo boy? He's a jerk. He has a good quirk. That does not justify his behavior. Uh, since when are you talking about to me, boy? I can fry your ass, literally. I know how your quirk works. I know its limitations. I sure as hell know that you... He's... What? Mom, he's insulting my friends. I ain't... I ain't gonna take that line down. Oh, seeing, seeing the, how the big one who lives with us looks, 
I'm pretty sure you take a lot of things lying down, don't you, boy? <coughs> oh, that is it. You should have stayed overseas, you asshole. Inko and everyone, like, who are you and what have you done with Izuku?